continue to pay tribute to the man who brought blacks and whites together in his country and who ended apartheid, Nelson Mandela, former president of South Africa, lies in state as we are hearing more about how he inspired a nation. Leon Harris has been reporting for us from South Africa. Leon joining us now from Pretoria to lead our coverage. Leon. Good evening, Gordon. You know, for the past week or so, both in Johannesburg and here in Pretoria, for the past week or so, we've been hearing Nelson Mandela being praised to the heavens for what he did to heal this nation's racial divide and bring black folks and white folks together as equals here. Well, with that in mind, we kind of wondered, would we see a number of white people, white faces in these crowds around this uh, national building here? And as it turns out, after a little bit of scouring of the crowd, we were able to find them. And after talking to people, it was quite clear that their commitment to, Mark, to, I'm sorry, to Mandela's legacy and to what he stood for was just as strong as anyone else's. Walk this line of thousands and the rarest sight you'll see is someone who looks like this. I've noticed that there's only a few white people here. True, she may stand out in this crowd, but if you listen to the white people here without seeing them, you'll find that they've got the same exact love for Nelson Mandela and for many of the same reasons. I think being from the younger part of South Africans, um, in 95 I remember when Nelson Mandela came to our school. And yes, so we just basically want to come and pay our tributes to him today. And while she stands out here, she was certainly not the only one. When he came, I was in uh, Vermeulen Street when, he, when they brought the his cast aside. And as it drove past, the tears came. <laughs> this man told us that the first time he actually even wanted to vote and did was for Mandela. This is like the 1994 elections. It's the first time I voted. I'm, I'm prepared to stand here, even if I stand here till when they close down, just to see and, and uh, experience the last gratitude. And you'd have to think that hearing that would prompt one of those famous Mandela smiles. And that was just the tip of the iceberg. Now, folks here are going to have about two more days to get a chance to get inside the National Union building behind me and say their final goodbyes to Nelson Mandela. The problem is, though, the process is so convoluted and the lines have been so long, there have been so many people who have wanted to get inside that there may not be enough time to get them all in. There may be people who wait for days in line and may never get a chance to say goodbye. But uh, they have two more days, so we'll have to hope for the very best for them. That's it for now from here in Pretoria. Leon Harris, ABC 7 News. Gordon, back to you. Leon, thanks very much. The worldwide mourning of the loss of Nelson Mandela continues tonight here in Washington, D.C., outside the South African Embassy. There'll be a vigil held there tonight at 7 p.m.